Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Listen to that beautiful rain. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, today we're going to make some gluten. And then we're going to make some things with gluten. Because I'm sure all of you have um, red hard wheat in your food storage. So it's important to know how to make different things out of it than just grinding wheat and making bread. Because that's going to be one of your primary staples in your food storage. So the first thing we're going to do this morning is we're going to grind 12 cups of whole red wheat. And if you've never seen whole red wheat before, this is like little granules. Okay? So we're going to put them in our grinder. I do have a hand grinder in case there is no power. But you always want to make sure, at least on most of these, you turn your grinder on before you put your wheat in. And you can adjust your dial right here. Smaller to larger. You can see those lines there. And this here just simply, you pull back and it takes it off. I like this wheat grinder, but I don't do corn in it. Um, it's just a little too tough for corn to go through. So I use my hand grinder for my corn at all times. Alright, so let's go ahead and start this grinding. This hopper holds about 8 to 10 cups. See, as quick as that. Fresh ground wheat. So one of these recipes says we need four cups of water and the other one says we need seven. So I'm going to start with four cups of water and there's probably 13 and a half, 14 cups of wheat flour in here. And it took 25 minutes to grind. So think about it, if there was no power and you were hand grinding that, how much would that be? So you want to make sure you do a big batch of anything when you do it just to get it out of the way and so you only have to do it once every now and then One of the recipes said to pound it. I'm just using a mortar. And it said pound it good. What that does is that supposedly releases the gluten. Okay. You just keep folding it as you see. It's starting to get real gluten -y. Just keep doing that as long as you can. You're supposed to do this until all the big clumps are broken up. I added about three cups more water. And this is the way you do it to save water. So, you know, if we were on limited water supplies, you would want to do it this way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a strainer and uh, we're going to separate it now. So now we wash it and we're just going to run it through our fingers and break it up and it's going to wash out the bran And only the gluten should be left behind. And if you did it right, it'll just be gluten left. You're supposed to take two cups at a time. 
put it in your strainer, and then rinse it with cold water. And what's left behind is your gluten. Until already, I'm going to have more water than I really want to save. So I'm just going to do an initial, I think, on each one of these to get the majority out of the milky juice. And then uh, rinse it without a bowl underneath. You can drain all this off and rinse it again with the stuff in the bowl. If when you're rinsing this it all washes away, then just take your water, add some more flour to it, and go at it again. Just start over. You just didn't um, pound it enough to get your gluten. The brown you see left behind is your bran. Of course, most of my bran is in this clump. We're going to make something out of the milky water and out of the bran and out of the gluten. So none of it's really going to waste. And see if we can get the brand to come out. Yeah, I think the bigger hold strainer is a better idea than the smaller one. The smaller one, that brand is just staying on the bottom. And I'm not actually getting any of it to come out. So, mm, don't have enough hands. Pop that in there and let's try another one. Probably a combination at this point. I need something to raise this above. I know. I have a daughter. Come help. On that side. <laughs> I want you to just dribble this like that while I'm working. Okay. See if it works better with two hands here. A little faster.
can get this way more, please? Thank you. What should happen is the bran should settle to the bottom and the milky we'll use for another purpose. Let me jar up this other one and we'll call that our starting. Okay, so now we're going to do the final rinse process. <clears throat> I wish I could have saved more bran, but... And you're just going to rinse it until it runs clear. And what you have left is gluten. I almost think a big five gallon bucket of water would be a good option. And then the bran would just settle to the bottom. See how it's getting clear? Kind of a white substance. That's when you know you got it all rinsed out. bowl out and we can start putting it in here. Still pretty milky. Let's try this one and see if we can save some more of the brand. I can get more rinsing at one time. It's hard on your hands. Alright, let's try the sprayer. Now I understand when they tell you not to do more than a double batch, no more than 12 cups, because you'll be tired. See all the brand? Once that dries in this colander, you can do something else with it. I wouldn't try to get it this clean if you're on limited water. Because it'll be fine. Ugh. Can't squeeze anymore. Need my daughter in here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, this side, I'll spray. You squeeze. Use two hands if you want. There you go. Just grab a bunch on the top and do it first. Grab a hunk off and do it so that the brand settles to the bottom. Use two hands, please. There you go. And we're trying to get all that brown stuff out. Okay. So you can stretch it and squish it. And I'll just keep spraying it. Flipping it over and stuff. There you go. See the brown spot? I feel it coming yeah. off all over my hand. That's much easier with two people, and you collect much more brand. Get back over there. Thank you. Just keep picking it up and putting it in my hand. All the little clumps there. Can't be in the brand. Because the brand will wash back off, so. And the gluten should stick. That's how you make hamburger, by the way. You make little balls like that. Just about got it all. A few more over there, little balls. Okay, as you can see, after about 15 20 minutes of rinsing, we put it back into the bowl of water and rinsed in there and then poured the water into here. As you can see, that's can you see that? That's all the brand we collected. Plus, the jars are now starting to separate. I'll probably do that into the strainer since my strainer does so good at catching the brand. And then just save the milky liquid. So, this is what gluten looks like. If you got little brown specks in it, it's just brand, and you can choose to keep washing it out, but it won't hurt it. And now we're going to make meat out of this. Can you see that? Let me notice it's coming out pretty clear. Okay. Let's see if you can see that. See how it's stringing? That's a good thing. Try to get it to run clear a little bit more. And just so you know, a man's hands do really good with this. Because it's really hard. There we go. We now have homemade gluten. Out of wheat. So let's get started on the things that we can make with it. 